To describe the hardware of the EMTP, I'll begin with the reagent vials. These vials have a specialized base. They slot into place on the carousel of the EMTP. Each vial is twisted to be locked into place to hold it securely. Up to 24 vials can be loaded on the electron microscopy carousel, while the light microscopy carousel can hold 12. A carousel screws in place, but can be removed to facilitate vial loading. Note the carousel has a small hole near the screw, such that it can only be loaded onto the EMTP in a single position. This allows the EMTP to keep track of where each file is located. The carousel needs to be screwed securely in place. Samples can be loaded with the carousel either on a bench top or directly onto the EMTP. A fully loaded carousel should be lowered before lowering the heater cooler unit. The heating cooling unit, when there are no vials blocking it, can be lowered and latched into place. The specimen arm, which will hold a completed basket assembly, will lower the samples into the initial vial of the program. If a particular vial for a temporary part or a temporary step is required, that can be adjusted manually. While programs allow stepping through manually, it is recommended to use a created program for an overall protocol. The specimen arm holds a completed basket assembly. The basket assembly simply latches in place. The upper T portion of it clips into place and is intended to swing freely. Once loaded, simply slot the basket assembly into the heating cooling block. The ceiling lid covers the top of the basket assembly. This piece of metal has two sides. One side is slightly narrower. This is the bottom. The ceiling lid simply slots across the basket assembly stem to cover the top and limit air circulation. With a fully loaded set of samples and the remaining components of the EMTP setup, it would be time to close the lid and start a program.